celebrating a hundred years of educational excellence, Marysville teachers remember. I started out at Western Michigan in 1965, played a little bit of baseball my freshman year, and then after that I realized that that was not going to go much further, so got my education and headed to Marysville. I just love teaching, I love coaching, and uh, Walt Braun was a great inspiration to me at Oxford. I had him as a coach in football and a little bit in track. and. Uh, I just wanted to be, you know, a football coach, a baseball coach, because I love baseball. And uh, lo and behold, I got a phone call from him that they needed, you know, a baseball coach. And would you mind helping me in football? <laughs> yeah, that was a dream come true. I started right at the high school. Um, a lady by the name of Peggy Bednar was having a baby, and they needed somebody to replace her. And uh, so I was that person in the freshman level. Made friends immediately with Mike Patterson, another English teacher at that time, later a counselor, and Ray Skinners, who I knew in college. And the three of us lived together until we, all in the same year of 1973, got married. So that was a lot of fun. Mrs. Shirley Bellow was a mentor to many people, and. She taught American Lit as well in 11th grade, and everybody has heard of her, and she was a great, great teacher, and she took me under her wing and um, taught me her traditional ways and grammar and writing and so forth, and I learned a lot from her. Miss Clara Mae Vivian just passed away uh, this last year. She was a mentor to me as well, being a Spanish teacher and newspaper and you know, things like that. I started out teaching freshman English and American literature. Back then it was in 11th grade. Since then it's moved to 10th grade. Then I moved up to uh, the 10th grade American Lit and taught that, taught that solely after that. And, uh, well, I don't know, I taught 40 years, so I guess the last 30 or so it was uh, American literature. We were just a close-knit group all the way up and down. There were usually 40 teachers, give or take, in the high school. And we weren't a real big school, but uh, every class had some memorable uh, students in it. My first year, the freshman class was a tremendous freshman class. Uh, uh, the Rick Kearns and Mark Turnbulls and uh, Dave and uh, Melanie French, who are twins, and Rick Denarden, a sophomore that first year. They were very memorable to me because they were on my first teams or in my first class. As I said, I had a lot of freshmen back then. People say, what do you teach? You know, you teach English, but students are what you're really working with. And the memories of students that stop in after class or after school and uh, you talk with about, you know, their problems or their situations, those are things that uh, as you said, we, we meet people years down the road and, and they say, remember when you did this? And you may or may not remember that because you have hundreds and hundreds of students, but sometimes you do and uh, that makes you feel good. Some people retired earlier. That was one of the unusual ones that stayed 40 years. You know, you tell people that and they say, 40 years, wow. But. I was having fun doing what I what I did, and there were circumstances that you know made it necessary to retire anyway. It's the best profession I think you could have. Um, I really enjoyed it. Uh, the staff at Marysville, I think, is has been close knit and still is. But uh, I'm very proud of what we accomplished. I don't know what else I would have done. I'm sure I would have found something, but uh, this. This was great.